How's it going, people? It's Saturday. And it's um, it's almost seven o'clock. I've had a full day. I had to uh, mow all my weeds. <laughs> I've been uh, battling poison oak again. I don't have it, but it's my property does, and it's growing back. And I just keep hitting it with a uh, special kind of Roundup for poison oak and poison ivy. Anyway. I'm all out of wine, and I wouldn't have any if I could, because I think I had too much for me. Not, not used to it. Don't feel like gin. It's fucking hot today. And got a little hay fever from mowing the lawn. I just got out of the shower. And since I have to be at work in Sacramento at 6 a.m. Sunday morning, that means i got to get up, oh, eh, around... A little after 3 a.m. Because I got like almost a 90 mile drive to work. So I'm putting myself through this, but I don't want this weekend to end without me finishing section 24. So far, this will be the eighth video if I've been keeping track. I have broke this video up into small chunks of chunks. I still got a ways to go. Anyway, I hope you've been following and keeping track. All I remember is uh, that I was left off uh, at verse 119. <sighs> God, it's hot up here today. 119. And again. Verily, I say unto you, let no man pay stock to the quorum of the Nauvoo house, unless he, he shall be a believer in the Book of Mormon. And the revelations I have given unto you, saith the Lord your God. And you have to be able to see the emperor's clothes. They're, you know, only righteous people can see them. Aesop's fables, we should be worshipping those. That is credible. Uh, 120. For that which is more or less than this cometh of evil. It's not enough that you got money. Oh no, Joey's for real. He wants you to believe in everything he's revealed. So, it's nice to have your own bunch, you know, your own, uh, <sighs> your own puppets. <sighs> and shall be attended with cursings and not blessings. Saith the Lord your God, even so, Amen. 121. And again, verily I say unto you, that should have been a drinking game for this section. Oh, that's good. It did deserve a blue ribbon. It goes down smooth. I fell in love with this when I, there was a neighborhood bar that had it on tap. It was like, ugh, I just poured straight down. <sighs> Sorry. It's almost like I'm reading a dull book that my mind would be wandering, but that's not the case. This is fascinating. It's just an OCD thing, uh, you know, ADH, PH, something else. Tension deficits. I've had a long day. One twenty-one, and again, verily I say unto you, let the quorum of the Nauvoo house have a just recompense of wages for all their labors, <coughs> which they do 
in building the Nauvoo house and let their wages be as shall be agreed among themselves as pertaining to the price thereof. So you're not going to lose money. It's promised. None of these people lost money, right? I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe. Maybe not here. 122. And let every man who pays stock bear his proportion of their wages, if it must needs be, for their support. saith the Lord. Otherwise their labor shall be accounted unto them for stock in that house. Even so, amen. <sighs> Having Amway flashbacks. <laughs> Sorry. I think in my life I've been tricked into like three or four Amway meetings. I'm like 56 now. And it doesn't happen anymore, but you know, there really isn't a free lunch or a free dinner, is there? And here, you know, it's like, you also have to be good enough to give us your money. 123. Verily, I say unto you, I now give unto you the officers belonging to my priesthood, that they may hold the keys thereof, those invisible keys, put them next to the invisible gold plates. <sighs> thereof, even the priesthood which is after the order of Melchizedek, the high priest of Salem, wasn't it? The king of Salem or something like that, before they came Jerusalem, thanks to Joshua and his gang. If you believe the, the press, anyway. Yeah. If you believe their press. Now, Kesedek, which is after the order of mine only begotten son, each one of those words was capitalized in the beginning, they're talking about J.C. Or God Jr. I don't know. You know. The avatar of God. 124. First, I give unto you, Hiram Smith, to be a, a patriarch unto you. Much repetition here. Haven't we all read this before? And haven't I been through all this before? In this very chapter. To hold the sealing uh, blessings, and that's, uh, you know, S-E-A-L-I-N-G, so, you know, magical spell, you know, kind of shit. An incantation. It seals, like, you know, one of those, some of that Hogwarts hogwash. Uh, <sighs> uh, to hold the sealing blessings of my church, even the Holy Spirit, both words capitalized, of promise, Whereby ye are sealed up into the day of redemption. So it's like, you know, a stamp. Stamp it, man. A signet, one of those things. That's a seal. But they're talking in metaphorical, magical terms, since nobody can see any of this shit, apparently. It's just symbolic or something. It's non-temporal. <sighs> Whereby ye are sealed up unto the day of redemption. 
then you're redeemable. That ye may not fall, notwithstanding the hour of temptation that may come upon you. So there's that. So yet you've been duly notified. Yep. You can revoke the whole deal, you know, if you don't follow all the rules that you have. One twenty-five. I give unto you, my servant Joseph, to be a presiding elder over all my church, to be a translator, a revelator, a seer, and prophet. I know I'm not reading over the same section. This is... Oh my God. Circling the drain. These are the the crazy you know, World War Two bunker thoughts of a uh, of a con man whose world is starting, whose world is becoming unraveled, and he's pulling another Hux. <laughs> he's got another shtick, another con. This is a real estate deal, I guess, that I've heard about. This is where it goes wrong. This is the genesis of that. But he's repeating himself a lot, that's what I'm saying. Just like I am right now. Um, 127. Wait. 126. I give unto him for counselors... Because he needs help. My servant William Law, that these may constitute a quorum and first presidency to receive the oracles for the whole church. 127. I give unto you, my servant Brigham Young, to be a president over the twelve traveling wait over the twelve traveling council. So he's like a, a mission missionary president or something, you know. <laughs> or something. Forgot what the structure is exactly. It's been a while since I've seen the uh, Book of Mormon musical. <laughs> Okay. 128. Which 12 hold the keys to open up the authority of my kingdom upon the four corners of the earth, and after that to send my word to every creature? Hey, lizard, listen up. <laughs> Cockroach, don't go anywhere. Talking to Lizard, but I'll be talking to you next. Never mind. <laughs> I wasn't hallucinating, I was imagining. Oh, I'm probably going to be going to sleep after this video. I'm wiped out. Yeah, some more of these magical invisible keys. Sounds Masonic somehow. Yeah, so they got to talk to every critter. <coughs> One twenty nine. They are Heber C. Kimball, Party P. Pratt, Triple P. Isn't he like uh, the ancestor of uh, Mitt Romney? Party P. Pratt. Did he get shot by a jealous husband because he stole the guy's family and, I mean, added him to his harem? I remember I think I like, stabbed his ass or shot him. I think he stabbed him. Hey. Orson Pratt, Orson Hyde, 
William Smith, John Taylor, John E. Page, Wilford Woodruff, William Richards, George A. Smith. <sighs> At least I feel like I'm reading new stuff now, finally, because I think he... I think he was stuck in a little loop. Maybe the Holy Ghost came up and gave him a bap on the back of the head and he unstuck and moved on. Yeah, it's almost like Joey's making this whole thing up and he's like pacing the floor like a caged animal. He got himself out of jail, but now he's in hiding. Because God wants him to hide there. And he's writing all this and making all these plans and business ventures. 130. David Patton, I have taken unto myself, behold, his priesthood no man taketh from him, but verily I say unto you, any may be appointed unto the same calling. I wonder what the pay is like. 131. And again, I say unto you, I give unto you a high council. <laughs> there it is. That's better. Damn hay fever. Ugh. Oh, at least I got the place. Next time I'm just going to hire somebody to do it. Put one of those mask things on, which only helps so much. Oh, but it's done. there. Then I can go to work now. Start my work week. At 3 in the morning. For the cornerstone of Zion, that high council. 132. Namely, Samuel Bent, good name, Henry G. Sherwood, George W. Harris, Charles C. Rich, Thomas Grover, Newell Knight, David Dort, Dunbar Wilson, Seymour Brunson, I have taken unto myself. I think he's just making it up as he goes along. Maybe he's just adding to it, you know, throughout the day. <sighs> no man taketh his priesthood or his magic invisible keys or whatever else. <laughs> Is an imagination wonderful? But another may be appointed unto the same priesthood in his stead. And verily, I say unto you, let my servant Aaron Johnson be ordained unto this calling in his stead, David Fulmer, Alf Alpheus Cutler, William Huntington, 133, oh, sorry, and again, I give unto you Don C. Smith to be a president over a quorum of high priests. Mighty lofty. Almost there, folks. One thirty four. Which ordinance is instituted for the purpose of qualifying those who shall be appointed standing presidents or servants? 
over different stakes scattered abroad. Sounds so fucking wonderful. 135. And they shall travel also if they choose, but rather be ordained for standing presidents. <coughs> this is the office of their calling, saith the Lord your God. That's who said that. Through Joey, to Joey. It's nice. <laughs> kind of a little mental circle jerk, isn't it? <laughs> um, One thirty six. I give unto him Amasa, Amasa Lyman. And Noah Packard for counselors. That they may preside over the quorum of high priests. Of my church, saith the Lord. 137. And again. I say unto you, I guess Joseph, Jr., I give unto you John A. Hicks, Samuel Williams, and Jesse uh, Baker, which priesthood is to preside over the quorum of elders, which quorum is instituted for standing ministers, nevertheless they may travel. Yet they are ordained Deigned to be standing ministers to my church, saith the Lord. Must must have given these yokels a big charge, you know, man. It cost me the price of my farm, but he mentioned me in this one of his magic dissertations. They're immortalized. Who are the fuck these people are? Their names in writing. Yeah. I wonder how many of these named people are going to be like on the other side of a great profiteer. I'm only having one beer. One thirty eight. And again, I give unto you Joseph Young, Josiah Butterfield, Daniel Miles, Henry Harriman, Zira Pull Siffer, Levi Hancock, James Foster. To preside over the quorum of seventies. One thirty nine. Which quorum is instituted for traveling elders to bear record of my name <coughs> in all the world? Whatever the traveling high council, mine apostles shall send them. To prepare a way before my face. Almost done. One forty. The difference between this quorum and the quorum of elders is that one is to travel continually and the other is to preside over the churches from time to time. 
the one has the responsibility of presiding from wait presiding wait has wait I gotta do this one again sorry a part of it the one has the responsibility of presiding from time to time and the other has no responsibility of presiding saith the Lord your God <coughs> 141. And again, I say unto you, I give unto you, Vincent Knight, Samuel H. Smith, and Shadrach Roundy. <laughs> I hope he gets one of those magical uh, pseudonyms. <laughs> something different yeah. <sighs> if he will receive it but you don't already know to preside over the bishop prick is given unto you in the book of doctrine and covenants which is this book One forty two. And again, I say unto you, one forty two. And again, I say unto you, Samuel. Rolf and his counselors for priests and the pres president of the teachers and of his counselors and also the president of the deacons and his counselors and also the president of the stake and his counselors. One forty three. The above officers I have given unto you, and the keys thereof, for helps and for governances, for the work of the ministry, and the perfecting of my saints. Yeah, they'll be perfect pretty soon. He's, you know, give, he's making sure that they all toe the line. You know, they all have to, like, see the emperor's clothes. Even if he's not really wearing anything. One forty four. And a commandment I give unto you that you should fill all these offices and approve of those names which I have mentioned, <coughs> or else disapprove of them, but you don't already know. Uh, at my general conference, One forty five. And that ye should prepare rooms for all these people in my house when you build it unto my name, saith the Lord your God, even so, amen, and that's it for one twenty four. That was brutal. I hope you we're able to hang on and thank you and I'm sorry <laughs> I'm just you know I'm just doing some modest reporting and a little commentary here and there uh, freestyling as usual 
let me know, did anything, you know, did you take anything away from this reading? <coughs> this, sec this part I read in this video, or the whole thing, um, let me know if you learned something. Please share. Peace. Fuck out. Have a wonderful, what the fuck it is you're having. And, hey, it's only, uh, it's only 7.20 p.m. I still got some time.